Hello friends, Sentinel H here. Welcome back to our Revolution 3 Let's Play on the world. I know we we call it the new world, but it's really not new anymore. But uh, yeah, we're here again. So if you if you recall previously, we uh, we went ahead and made ourselves a little canola farm. Although for some reason, bits of it start have have been uh, breaking. I'm not really sure why. Uh, it's weird. We've currently got. Uh, 38 stacks, so we got 2,460 canola seeds. Although I think a lot of that was left over. 2,588. Uh, I don't know how much of that actually came from here. Now, obviously, if we wanted to get more canola faster, we'd need to breed some better canola plants using Agricraft, which is something we can do. And also um, put down a, a, a sprinkler there. To, uh, to speed things up. But right now what I want to do is I want to go in here and uh, back to the tower. Now I fixed the water except for one issue over here. The subterranean illuminator was actually in the way so I moved it down there. Thankfully you can break that. It doesn't matter. It just it goes somewhere else. It doesn't it, it doesn't destroy any of the water that you'd already placed. And oh hey I didn't, there was a, a way into the dam here. That's nice. I'll, I should make that uh, a thing. Okay. So, um, I need to fix the water here again, which is really annoying because it keeps break, you know, screwing it up. So, come up here. I've got a, my reservoir of water up here just for when I have to fix the, uh, the water situations because... What? Are you kidding me? No, I turned that off. That's been turned off ages ago. Why well, to turn it off again? Oh come on! Well, that threw a spanner in the works. Environment physics are back on. I turned those off in the configs. Okay, now that's frustrating. Well, I guess we can't work in the tower because the whole thing will come crashing down if environment physics get get to it. Oh come on! I turned that off. I guess I have to turn it off every single time or something for some stupid reason. Alright, whatever. Anyway, we'll work on this then. So, basically what we've got here is... Oh, darn it, I fell onto the farm and now it broke it into piece. These, these fans are so strong. Oh, this one actually lets me hoe it though. That one over there doesn't for some reason. Alright, let's replant, replant this. What do you mean I can't plant it? Oh, come on. I don't know. It's it's a little weird the way that this, this thing is working sometimes. So anyway, we, if you remember previously, we diverted power um, away from this dam. Well, away from these hydros. Uh, we sent 32 kilowatts in this direction. Right here. And then however many are over there over there. Now I don't need to have this second dyno right here so what I want to do is make some steel shafts and then we gotta get grinders set up to to grind this uh, these canola and I'm pretty sure we can do it really quick alright Shiva's not around which is why he's not helping I have to record this now so um, no fly there we go I need a work table. Where Where is the work table? Is it around here somewhere? I don't know. We gotta make some, uh, some shafts. Not a bedrock one, obviously. A steel shaft. A mount. Yeah, base panel and steel. But you don't actually need this. Okay. Let's get this out of here. Oh, there's some shafts here. Nice. Helpful. And some hydroconnect engines. I've already got like a bunch of them, but I can't work in the tower now because stupid environment is back on when it should be off. Okay. So I'm just going to break this, take it back, and then just... Oh, I got it backwards. There we go. Now those are back to operating. Because what I need to do is I need to put this here so I know how much power is coming out. 
So we got 229 kilowatts, mostly torque, right? Well, that's not going to do us for our grinder. So if we go to processing and to our grinder, we need to make sure that we get 128 newton meters of torque. Any more than that, and it's wasted. So 128 newton meters of torque is all we need. We got to gear this down. <laughs> From 28,000 down to 128, or as close as we can get. I, I think we can do it. In order to do that, I need gearboxes. Um, does Shiva have any more gearboxes in here? Hey, he does. A 16 to 1 diamond gearbox. <laughs> Let's request it, shall we? We'll put these hydrokinetic engines. Oh no, they only stacked to 12. All right, let's get this diamond gearbox. It's got some lube in it. The nice thing about diamond gearboxes is I don't believe they actually... Yeah, they don't consume any of the lubricant. They just need it. So we're going to place it there. We're going to make sure that it's in not torque mode because it'll explode. Make sure it's in speed mode. Plug it in. All right. Well, see, the problem I have is I don't have one of those cool angular transducer things. So if I want to keep seeing, like, how much I got, I have to keep... Oh, I should have known that would happen. I'm an idiot. Alright, we're just going to place this, like, right up against it. Then. But I gotta do this whole thing again, because it goes back to torque mode. I don't know why it, it likes to default to torque mode. I do like how they keep the loop, though. Alright, let's place that there. Let's see what we got. 1,000... Okay, we're down to 1,792... Uh, Newton meters. So let's go ahead and, and grab another gearbox, shall we? No, stop falling in the farm. I double tap. I want to fly. I. Right. Gearboxes, we got them. Steel gearbox, eight to one. I think we can do steel at this point. I think we've geared it down enough. I don't think the steel will break. I mean, steel's not ideal because it'll it'll use the loop, but I don't think it'll explode if I put it here. Oh, it's got like hardly any loop. I don't think it'll break. Yay! Alright, so let's just grab this and we'll see what we got. So, no, 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 put it like that. I gotta do the, the thing again. It's gotta be in speed mode or it'll explode. Alright. Dino, how much we got? Hey, look, we got 224. We got it down to 224 Newton meters. Now, can I get that down to 128? I don't think I can. I could, if I put a 2 to 1 on there, It'd go down to it'd go down to a little bit too far. I could reduce the amount of power that's going over to the front fans. They don't need that much. What's he got it set to though? I don't actually know. And the last time we changed that, it really screwed things up. I don't know why, but it didn't like being uh, being altered with everything running through it. I think 224 is fine though. I mean, if this was uh, like 256, I could do it, but it's not. Okay, so let's see. Let's go grab a grinder. And we'll see how fast it... Is that a clock? Yeah, that was the clock in there. Hey, he's got one in here too. I love this. She has got everything that I need. While he is away, I will steal all of his things. <laughs> oh man, it's so nice to have another day off. Uh, my current schedule that I've been having fairly regularly now at work is that I get is that I work uh, three days get a day off work two days get a day off which I quite like actually operation time is uh, 15 seconds that's not ideal at all see it'd be really nice if I could gear this down again but then we wouldn't have enough torque but right now we do so yeah it's just not gonna be anywhere near fast enough we gotta get more power. 
I think the best way to get more power is to reduce the amount of power that's going over here. It's just it's too much. We don't need that much power to the fans, I don't believe. It's currently 1.7 bend. If I go up to 1.15, we get to 2.40. fans are still able to push me to the conveyor belt, so I think that's fine. They should have more than enough power. They're getting 16 kilowatts, so each one of those is getting 8 kilowatts, so it's fine. The problem is, we still don't have enough torque for me to put another gearbox on this. It has to go up more. We'd only have 120, and I need 128, but I feel like if we went to 131, it would be not enough power going over there. What? It's still not enough! It's still not enough torque. It has to go... I can't get it to 256 then, so I might as well go back to 1 and 7. I can't get this up to 256, so I can't gear this down again. Ah, well. So basically the idea now is that we take some uh, some pipes and put the canola in, put it in the grinder, put it in there, get some loot. Let's go do that. I'm in a strange mood today. Yesterday was a pretty good day at work. My district manager came in, and we had a chat, um, she likes me, which is good, and, uh, you know, we had a bit of a talk, it, it looks like I'm, uh, what was I coming over here for? Oh yeah, it looks like, you know, they're, they're getting ready to, to start training me to become the assistant manager, um, which is gonna be nice, although she, she likes to mess with, with me, and say things like, you have no idea what you're getting into, and, uh, you don't know what's coming, <laughs> like, the training's gonna be really hard. But my manager says it's fine, you know. It's it's a lot, he said. It, it, it is a lot, but once you uh, once you get it down, it's not bad, he said. So, you know, it'll be cool. Wooden pipe. Oh yeah, look, we do have. I, I was hoping we had one of these sitting around. Do a lever. Request it. Request the lever. So yeah, things are going well. How are they going for all of you? I hope that each one of you is having a nice day today. My birthday is coming up. Uh, if you didn't... Well, of course you wouldn't know. My birthday is coming up. It's uh, the 24th. So only a couple days. I have that day off too. I requested it and I got it. So, that's nice. Nice to get your birthday off of work, I think. Is that going to work? Yeah. Pull the canola out. Put it in the grinder. I wish I could keep it at this speed, though. Because at the current speed that it's going, it's actually, like, perfect. I'm pretty sure. And the time it takes for the second one to get in... No... The grinder isn't that fast. Fortunately. We need more speed! 1,000 radi radians per second isn't enough! The question now is, would we actually get more throughput by taking, by using two grinders? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, we can't split this in half. I've already, uh, I've already established that we, uh, we are incapable of splitting that in half. So now we need to uh, put some lube into this, which is this is this is really stupid. <laughs> like it's not work. It's not. It's not really uh, the best. 
All right, so I gotta tell you guys this though. While we're doing this, I gotta tell you. I found the best thing ever on YouTube. Like some of the funniest videos that I've ever seen, or at least see, that I can remember, the funniest videos ever. Um, go on YouTube and search uh, GMod Harry Potter RP, and the videos are just hilarious. Like they're amazing. The ones by um, my name is Chris. I think that's his name. I think that's his YouTube channel. Are absolutely hilarious. Like in the extreme. There's, it's, it's just great. You gotta watch it. Trust me, you won't be disappointed if you, if you enjoy hilarity and uh, really weird people. <laughs> See, this was always the problem that you had with uh, buildcraft pipes when there was nowhere for the stuff to go. It just drops all over, you know, drops on the ground. Well, I suppose I could solve that with conveyors. That'd be stupid. We're not going to use buildcraft pipes for this. I'm gonna, we're gonna probably use something different. Anyway, I've now supplied lubricant in an extremely janky way. I know, I, I probably could have just used one of those anchors, but whatever. To these hydro engines, which... They're not going to get enough to keep running. But, at least I've supplied it for now. Why can't I hoe this? Hoe that. Alright. So, we need a tank. Uh, for use... I want to use one of these tanks. I want one of these tanks. It's currently filled with creosote oil. Well, halfway filled. I'd quite like to move that so I don't waste... There's nothing in here. He's empty. I could... I'm going to grab some of those fluid link anchors. And I can drain that creosote out of there. Does he have more than one? No, he doesn't. Darn it, Shiva. No. <laughs> you have everything else that I could ever want just already in here, but not that. Unless there's one sitting somewhere that we're not using. Nah, I don't care enough about this creosote oil. We're not even using that much of it anymore. I'm just gonna break this. I'm gonna take this tank. Come on, tank. You're coming with me. And we're gonna rebuild it elsewhere. Fill it with lube. I like these tanks from Immersive Engineering. I like the looks of them. These fluid tanks. I like the looks of the silos as well, but I, I, with, with how cheap mass storage is, I can't really justify using that much sheet metal just to store. Just to be like a large barrel. They look amazing, so aesthetically, like, I'll probably end up using some like, when I build, if I build, when I build a factory. I want to build a Victorian factory. Here. Over there. But I haven't planned it out yet. Otherwise, that would have been a nice thing to do today. Start on that. But I haven't planned it yet. So we're messing around with lube and hydros. I was going to set up the 12 hydros at the bottom of this tower. But I can't do that. Because freaking Environmine went back on. For some ridiculous reason. I don't know. Wait a second. If I try and place one of these tanks here. Is that all going to fall? It probably will. Ugh. I just don't like Environmine. Alright, so I want to put this tank over here, basically. So I think this will work fine. Um, or no, maybe not there. I mean, ideally I would place it up here. So that you come up to the tower, you can see how much, li how much lube that the system has. I mean, we're going to use fluid link anchors to, to move this liquid from down there anyway, so it doesn't really matter where I put it. But I don't want to put it somewhere that's not going to look good with how long I spent making this tower look good. Um, how about like right here? No, I, I quite like the idea of it being down here. But then we're going to have that uh, no, that beam shooting. Well, we could shoot the beam through there. We could just break through there into the thing. I don't know. We don't have to break through. It goes through the ground. What am I talking about? Why do I keep babbling on about crap that doesn't matter? In the end, it doesn't matter where I put this tank. No, you don't go there. 
But anyway, go on to YouTube if you're feeling like a laugh, and you go to it, the guy's channel. Stop it. My name's Chris or something like that. Hi, I'm Chris. I, I can't remember now. And you search for... Just search for Gmod Harry Potter RP. And one of the first videos will be his. It's just hilarious. Seriously. Funny, funny stuff. So I got this fluid tank over here. I want to put lube in it. But I don't have any more fluid linkers. Before I can't end this episode, I would really like to do that. Is this one redundant now? I feel like this isn't even connected to anything. I feel like this is completely redundant. I'm breaking it. And the reason I feel like that's redundant is because look at the, the, I mean, these other beams are all over here. She was probably going to be like, no, that wasn't redundant. But it looks like it's redundant because, look, the chain still works. All right, let's do this. Let's grab this one. I'll go ahead and I'll stick one up here. Boop. And I'll stick the other one. Oh, I, I can get a nice straight shot. Can I boop it on top of this pipe? All right, so now in order to do that, in order to make that work, let me get a bucket of lube so I can put it in the filter. I got some lube right over here. Put this in the filters. Filter this for lube. And we need negative pressure to pull lube to it. And then we'll put lube here. It's probably too far away. Yeah, the beam's not connecting. It looks like... Or this just doesn't work. I probably can't do that. Attach it to a pipe. Probably have to stick it right on, like, the source. So, like... I could stick it, like, right on the grinder, if that works. Lube. Nah, it's not going to work. I'll figure this out later. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of sort of dicking around with the canola farm and the gears and stuff. I wish I could have gotten this to 256 ra newton meters so I could gear it down again and get two killer radians. But if I want this gear, this grinder to run at a decent pace, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to uh, work on our power situation. I don't think, you know, it, this should be enough, I would think, to get this grinder running at a decent speed. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. It will be once we get that set up. But stupid environment. Mine. I swear, if I have to change that config file every time I launch this game, I'm gonna be really annoyed. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, hopefully, when I get some time. In the future, I will be able to come over here and uh, plan out my factory. It is going to be in this location. And once I get the factory planned out, I'm going to... Um, we'll start building it. It'll connect to the dam over here. It'll be awesome. Like, super awesome. I've got ideas in my mind. I just need to fit it to the location. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Like and comment down below if you did. Um, yeah. Yeah. Join our Discord if you're interested in chatting. I'm, of course, I'm not there as often as I used to be because I work. I'm actually not there very often at all, unfortunately. But there is a lively discussion going on about Rev between uh, some extremely regular guys that are pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching. It really means a lot to me that you enjoy watching the stuff I make. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.